Three, two, one. Hey, internet friends, this is Magic Brad with the Magic Brad Show. And I'm here online with my new friend, Mark, and I forgot his last name. I think it's Newsom. Is that correct, Mark? That is correct, my friend. I just pulled that out of my cerebral cortex. <laughs> I, I, I really did forget, but I just kind of, it just pulled off. And Spot on. What world are you in? Are you uh, East Coast, West Coast? Or another I'm world? an East Coaster, but I'm a West Coast transplant. Okay, that means you transplanted to the West Coast? Where, where are you I located right No, I right transplanted now? from the West Coast to the East Coast, if you can believe that. Left the great weather to come here to get the snow and the freezing cold. Don't ask, but here I am. Are you right in L.A., the land of fruits and nuts? No, I was actually in Northern uh, California. Grew up in Oakland, right next okay. to San Francisco. With some, with some other fruits and nuts. Yeah, <laughs> big Raider fan, fan until Franco Harris and the Immaculate Reception took all the wind out of my sails. Good okay. afternoon. Okay, I'm not a football, baseball fan. My brother had a bumper sticker once that says, go Twins and take the Vikings with you. That's <laughs> <laughs> good. I like that. I'm going to have to use that. That's very good. So are you uh, married, got kids, or still watching? No, crazy? single guy. Single guy, just okay. enjoying uh all the beautiful ladies, but yeah, no, single guy. All of them? Not at the same time. <laughs> no, no. I, what I meant by that is I can't. You know, gotta clean that up. <laughs> it's all good. Well, I don't do these real long because there's this commodity of time that everybody's got, so we don't want to take too much of their time, so we're no, going to kind of condense as much as we can into a, a little bit of time. Absolutely. So let's talk a little about what you do. I saw that you kind of help people to generate income and and you coach them through it and I, I totally get that and this is gonna be fun to talk about that because I think with this pandemic thing happening a lot of people should start really seriously thinking about this because they don't have a job to go back to that's true in fact you know what that's a great that's a great start off let's do a couple of things first of all let's talk about which 80 percent of our country I'm talking about America is driven by definition so quote-unquote small business meaning maybe 50 employees total or less, whether you're a service provider or business owner. So we're going to start with you and we're going to build out. And that theme you just hit on about the employees possibly losing their job, we're going to roll that into this too. And I think this is going to be really exciting for your audience. Let's take the first thing, ladies and gentlemen. Here's a huge mistake. Too many small business owners and service providers are making. And Brad, I'm going to use you an example. You walk into uh, practically any retail. You make a purchase, you pay either by credit card, cash, and you walk out of the store. Does that sound remotely familiar? Well, it used to be. <laughs> right? Okay. Now, here's the problem with that, ladies and gentlemen. You absolutely should take advantage of his patronage or his wife's patronage or my patronage by having what we call a bounce back offer. What the heck is that, Mark? It's just either an index card or something that you laminate that tells Brad every time he comes back within a certain time span, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, whatever it is, he's going to get some kind of ethical bribe for doing so. Like what, Mark? Like a discount on something he just purchased. Or you'll grandfather him in, like say for instance, Brad picks up his phone, thumbs through, and instead of going to the, to the nationally franchised pizza uh, franchises, he picks that mom and pop pizza place that has that great sauce, even though it gives him heartburn. His wife says, Brad, don't get the sauce because you know it's gonna give you heartburn. He does it anyway, because he can't help himself. When that pizza is delivered, they ring the doorbell, Brad opens the door, he hands him the cash, they hand him the pizza. Even maybe the, the mom and pops got the gloves on now, you know. But the point is, he closes the door and goes back to watching. Maybe they're, they're streaming on uh, Netflix and they're binging on, on some show when it's uh, GOT, right? He, he's binging on GOT. Here's the problem with that. That pizza place should hand Brad some type of uh, bounce back offer. And basically what it says is for the next 12 months, every time he orders over say $10, the soda is either the large liter soda, at least one of them are free or they'll sell two of them to him at cost. Say so what? Now think about the ad, all their competitors. All they're doing is showing up, ringing the doorbell, getting the money and leaving and, 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 and looking at in their little uh, notebook of where's the next uh, order they got to deliver. Yeah. Now let's take this a real, uh, Brad, let's blow it out of park and take this a step further. 
for a moment, I want you to pretend you own a restaurant, right? And we know right now it's kind of limited with the space and all that. All the more reason why a strategy like this is, is incredibly powerful. Watch this, ladies and gentlemen. You know the two guys out there parking the cars? They had their hours cut, so they're kind of in a funk until I own an appliance dealer uh, store two blocks from Brad. Brad and I have known each other for years. We're in the Chamber of Commerce together. And I asked Brad the magic question. Brad, is it okay if I share with your audience the magic question? Do it. The magic okay. question. Magic the good. magic question. Here it is. We're going to find out, A, how effective or not effective it is, or B, if this Mr. Marketing guy, Mark Newsom, has the goods. I asked Brad, I said, Brad, is it okay if I periodically refer you to new business? Sure. And by the same token, as long as it doesn't take away from anything you're currently doing, both now and in the future, are you okay with periodically returning the favor? Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, did you hear that? Nine times out of 10 on the front end, you're going to get an emphatic yes, especially in this uh, redesigned healthcare crisis driven economy. But more importantly, you heard him say he's also open to periodically referring me to business. So here's, watch what happens. Brad has this restaurant. I said, Brad, here's what I want to do. You know your two valet parking guys out there? He's like, yeah, you know, unfortunately, Mark, I had to cut their hours. You know, business has kind of slowed down and, you know, they got all these stipulations about how many people can be in a restaurant and you can't blame them. And I said, yeah, I think I got a way to help you out, buddy. And he says, how, how would you do that? And I see here's what we're going to do. I hand Brad this envelope. And Brad, you tell me what you think the reaction of your customers are going to be when they get a load of this. This is a sealed envelope. Those valet parkers are, start, are going to start putting on the driver's side seat. One will have a W for women, meaning the, it was a woman driving the car. Doesn't mean she's paying. But <laughs> she, a woman drove the car that they parked or an, uh, a uh, M for men. Meaning a guy what drove if the, the car gets or truck. upside down? Okay. So here's what it says on the outside envelope. In big red letters in uh, parentheses, music legend Stevie Wonder can't miss. You definitely deserve this. Brad, do you think it's going to take any time for these people to rip that envelope open and That's see what's going on? I know what's inside, what it's going right? on. Well, here's a couple of things. Number one, it's going to have an extremely time-sensitive bounce-back offer coupon to his restaurant. They come back with somebody. They save more. They come back alone. They save less. So I'm, in other words, I'm saying don't etch it in stone, 25%, 20%. It's a savings. It's either they're going to save a little bit by coming back alone within a certain time period, or they're going to save more by dragging a friend. This means less advertise, formal traditional advertising for bread. Now, here's the point, because remember, I'm in the retail appliance center. I'm the one who's promoting this behind the scenes, meaning I'm banking. It's also going to have in there, for the ladies, get this, an extremely time-sensitive coupon for them to go get a facial. It's a $47 value. They save 10% if they come alone meaning 10% of the current price at the time they redeem the coupon, or much better, simply for dragging a girlfriend, a sister, a neighbor, a bestie, a coworker, an aunt, if mom is still alive, mom, somebody. That's they drag they a female, to. That's what right? They if they That's drag they a female who's at least 18, both ladies get the facial free. Now follow this. What, how is the facial company making money giving away free facial? They've already run what we call your total lifetime customer value metrics. And here's what they know. For every X amount of women that sit in that chair for free, before you get out of that salon, guess what? On the back end, they're going to make anywhere between $75 and $400 per lady. Right. With the lip balm and the moisturizer and all that stuff that Brad's going to say, honey, you really spent this much for that? You know what I mean? So the point is, the facial company is happy to do this. Now, here's the other thing. Since I'm not in this for philanthropy, obviously one of my extremely time-sensitive gift certificates is going to be in there too. And here's what it's going to say. Dear valued customer, 
Because you are a, I'm, I'm sorry, dear friend, exclamation point, because you are a valued customer of Brad's Restaurant, please take advantage of this extremely time-sensitive offer. Enter my free drawing for a chance to win a $2,500 home entertainment deluxe system, whatever that entails, ladies and gentlemen. Now, here's the point. On the back side, it's going to have the same offer as extremely time sensitive offer as the uh, facial, uh, Women's Deluxe Facial Treatment Center, meaning it's going to say, come along, save 10% up to your first $500. Or simply by dragging a friend who's at least 18, save 40% or X on your first $2,000 purchase. I'm sorry, on your next $2,000 purchase because they may have already become a customer of mine, you know. But the point is we want them back in the store. Yeah, now ladies and gentlemen, I want you to stop and think about something here. My major competitors, you know what they're doing to get you in the store? Spending they're money. on local radio, yeah. prime time, the, the morning commute, the commute home. They're doing the same thing with local television. They're doing the same thing with the Sunday insert. This is outrageously expensive. Yes. And here's the sad part. Nobody, nobody gets a customer off the first ad. That's why they have to run them over and over and over and over to drill it into your head before you finally say, oh, what company is that? That's the first seven. Then the next seven, you say, you know, I think I'm going to go by there. By that time, I've spent a fortune. So if you do come into the store and buy some low-end product, I didn't even pay for you your advertising. I'm really taking a loss and I'm banking on you got to come back. And if I don't have a bounce back offer, you may never come back. So what we're doing with this type of strategy is a, we're getting you in the store a percentage of you and B we're getting a percentage of you to drag a friend. I'm not paying for that. I mean, I'm ethically bribing you to do it. Now, let me show you how powerful this is. I call this the McDonald's strategy, Brad. You know why? You know, every time you and I go into McDonald's and you say, let me get the quarter pounder with cheese and the strawberry shake. And this is all over the world. McDonald's and Burger King and Wendy's, all their trained sales reps are, you know, cashiers immediately come back with, would you like fries with that? Now look at what just happened. They increased their gross profit without having to run any more advertising. But McDonald's was the first to come up with a proven strategy to leverage the upsell. What are you saying, Mark? McDonald's got together with their habit uh, marketing experts and they said, how can we take this to the next level? So here's what they came up with. When you and I say yes to, you'd like fries with that, they immediately come back and say, supersize you. Now notice what just happened. Another 10 to 40% of us said yes and McDonald's sold us a retail product on top of another retail product. How often do you think that happens in business, right? So here's how this affects Fred's Ballet Parkers. On the back of every coupon, it's gonna say referred by. They're going to print their name. Every time a lead comes into my store, I'm paying them $50 and I pay on a weekly basis. And I'll also tell them this, no offense guys, but this is a contest. So whichever one of you leads the pack for the week, you get a $250 bonus on top of $50 per lead. And every time after you lead the pack, the $250 doubles to 500. Now, do you think these guys will be smart enough to say, you know what? When I'm not on the job, I'm gonna carry some of these uh, index cards with me. And when the conversation comes up, I'm gonna pass out one of these. And they write on there 10 days out, just so you know, ladies and gentlemen, not 10 business days, whatever today's date is, they look on the calendar, they go 10 days out, and that's the date that this offer expires. 
Now, Brad, here's the other thing I'm going to do because I want them to use one of the most powerful, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm totally not kidding here, one of the most powerful known to man marketing strategies. It's called the Amazing F Y L System. That's a word acronym. I'm going to tell you what it means. And you ladies, no offense, you already know how to use this strategy because you use it in Command Central. We're going to talk about that in just a second. But Brad, here's what the amazing FYL system is. That's short for flat yo lips. You understand? I want them yapping it up to their friends about this way to make money on the side. Get this. Without trying to recruit friends and family, attending home meetings and parties, and trying to do network marketing. Okay? Now, here's what I'm going to do for both of these gentlemen to really kick it off, or whoever's, ladies, whoever's parking the cars. Of course, I'm gonna do this after I hook Brad up because he's the owner of the restaurant, but that being said, I'm going to allow both of those gentlemen to purchase a 75 inch flat screen television and a state of the art laptop at my cost. You say, what? Why would you do that, Mark? When they're rocking the Super Bowl, NASCAR, uh, pro wrestling, a concert, whatever they're doing, and they got friends over, I want the friends to say, hey, man, where'd you get this rocket 75 inch television? In which case, they're going to pull out their little cards and say, hey, you got this special arrangement with, you know, Mark's appliance center? Oh, yeah, yeah. Here's what, how this works. They're going to tell them, you know, you enter the free drawing, flip it over the back. You got 10 days to, you go in there by yourself, you save 10%, X percent off, up to $500. Or simply for dragging somebody who's at least 18, he'll let you buy, he'll ethically bribe you, and you can get 40% off your next purchase up to $2,000. What? Oh, and by the way, you see that website down there? You go to that website, he's got a free 30-minute little workshop that he tells you if you want to earn extra money, he'll show you how you can do it. Now, I guarantee you 99.9% .9 of the restaurants in America, probably all over the world, aren't doing anything near with this. Now, since Brad, as I said, he's an entrepreneur, he's a business owner, I'm going to hook him up with a $5,000 home entertainment system at my cost, which is about half, 2500 Why? Because he's networking, or I should say power networking, with the exact ideal uh, potential customer base that I want to interact with. And rather than continue with that $25,000 a month incredibly wasteful uh, billboard ad campaign, and by the way, I've only been doing that for two years. You want to do the math on that? $25,000 a month over 24 months? And how many customers has it actually brought me? Yeah, right. I'd much rather give him that stereo system at cost, because it's going to close out anyway, because now when he, he and his wife entertain guests, be it family, neighbors, whoever, siblings, relatives, coworkers, whatever, the subject is going to come up, Brad, where did you get this rocking home entertainment system? In which case, Brad's going to pull out his index card, hand it to him and tell him to spill, or his wife will. Ladies and gentlemen, I get, and here's the other thing I'm going to do, Brad. To, to really build up your business, because we haven't talked about that. Since we're friends, and I definitely want to help you out, here's what I tell you. I say, Brad, you tell your, your cashiers, oh, and by the way, my offer of hooking them up at cost goes for his, his current and future employees. Now, I won't hook them up as well as I hooked up Brad. He's the owner. But the point is, they can come in, as long as they join my, my either my SMS, you know, text message, or my opt-in email list, as long as they stay on my list once a year, they can come into the store, buy any product up to $1,500 at cost. But they can only do it if they remain on my list. Now, if they decide I, I just can't take all these promotions and they get off my list, they still can take advantage of this once a year deal. But for that, they have to refer me five paying customers a year to be, to be eligible. So you see how this kind of works? Now, here's the next step of this, because I want to really show you, ladies and gentlemen, this, this, you have no idea how far you can take this out. I want you to think about this. 
since I'm paying, or I was wasting $25,000 a month or X on these uh, wasteful billboards, here's what I'm gonna take that money and do now. I'm gonna tell Brad and his, his, his employees, or you know, his, his, his waiters and waitresses, every time a customer spends over $75, I don't care what it is, if it's a group, an individual, whoever, they spend over $75, they bring over this sealed envelope that you know I'm gonna give them. And again, it says in, in red letters and parentheses, you definitely deserve this. So you know they're gonna rip it open. And guess what it's gonna say? Dear friend, because you are a valued customer of Brad's restaurant, my name is Mark Newsom. I'm the owner of Mark's Appliance Center, two blocks over. Please accept this $75 gift in terms of a credit for your meal. So if they spent a hundred dollars, they just saved seventy-five. Do you think they're happy? Are they going to jump on social media and start texting their besties and tell them the, the good fortune that they got? You better believe they are. Are they when they get back to either their job or their business? Are they going to yap it up about Brad's restaurant? Absolutely. Which means Brad is going to get more business he didn't advertise for. Right, I'm gonna get some serious word of mouth because some of them are gonna bring my uh, extremely time sensitive gift certificate into the store and they will have drunk a friend. And I'm doing this for pennies on the dollar, which means I'm quickly becoming the place to go to for these appliances because I'm smart enough to know how to promote and outmarket my major competitors. Ladies and gentlemen, you see how, I don't want to say simple, but uh, non-techy this is? You don't have to be a genius. you got to understand human psychology. Everybody loves getting something they value for free. And here's the other thing I'm going to have Brad start doing. I'm going to tell Brad to create an email list or an SMS list. Because remember, the average text messages, message pardon me, gets open within... 90, I'm sorry, three minutes of being sent. Three minutes or less, it's open. Now, that doesn't mean they're going to click on any links and all that and you know, buy something, but at least it gets open. So here's what I'm going to tell Brad to start doing. He's going to create an engagement club. What the heck is that one? Any couples that are engaged or wedding anniversary, they can come into Brad's restaurant and Brad will give them his top bottle of champagne or wine, their choice, on the house. In reality, I'll be paying Brad's cost so he's not out anything, but he's getting serious word of mouth. And then Brad just gives them the, you know, the, you definitely deserve this sealed envelope, which has a bounce back offer from him and an extremely time sensitive offer from me. And the ladies will get, when they come into the store or if the husband comes into the store alone, he'll get the uh, extremely time sensitive uh, gift certificate from the uh, Women's Facial Treatment Deluxe Center to give to the lady in his life, the special lady in his life, be it his daughter, his wife, his living significant other, his secretary, and that's the other thing. Every business, when these people come into my store, our people are trained to find out if they own a business of any kind. And if they own a traditional offline bricks and mortar business, we say, do you have either a secretary or secretaries or a female office manager? They say, yes, we're giving that female office manager or secretary a time sensitive discounted coupon to our joint venture partner, who is the uh, uh, Women's Facial Deluxe Treatment Center. Ladies and gentlemen, do you see how powerful, I call it power network. Brad just told me before we came online where he, he uh, promotes all of this stuff. So you see the leverage? I come on a powerful medium like his show, and then he's smart enough to know how to promote and market it. So I get all, it's not just me and him. It's his audience today and his audience tomorrow. You do this one time. And look at the mega exposure you get from now on. And unlike, oh, Brad, I almost forgot. Boy, this is criminal. I almost forgot this. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to say this. Brad knows this. I know it. And some of you know this, but some of you don't. Please listen to this very carefully.
If you're rocking any type of social media, advertising, I'm talking about paid advertising, and let's just talk about the 800 pound grill in the room, Facebook, because it's the biggest thing on the planet in terms of social media. Two things. Number one, you and I do not own those platforms. We are glorified tenants. Mark Zuckerberg is the landlord, which means he can pull the plug on your account anytime he wants. And I guarantee you the time we're spending here together, somebody somewhere in the world either had their account shut down for the first time, the second time, or unfortunately, the last time. This is a fact. Now, am I telling you not to be on fa or social media? Of course not. It's ridiculous. What I'm telling you is you need your own home. See, I have all my own self-hosted WordPress blog. So if Brad, after we go off the air, he listens to this and says, you know, this was okay, but I just don't think it was right for my audience. Now, that wouldn't be good, but the point is I have my own blog. So I have a way to reach my audience. If you're only using social media, your Titanic is going to sink. It's a matter of time. And here's the other thing. Think about this. For those of you who are rocking local ads, I'm talking radio and television, you know, the morning commute, the afternoon commute, and you're doing your Sunday, outrageously expensive Sunday newspaper insert, the most expa uh, excuse me, expensive publication, and the throwaway guides, and on and on and on and on. The time you and I spent with, with Brad here today, you didn't see those ads. And sadly, the advertiser paid for that exposure and it's wasted circulation. You follow what I'm saying to you? So you and I have to find direct strategies that get you directly in front of your ideal audience. Now, Brad, if it's okay, I wanna switch this up because I want to show them another powerful, and I remember I said Command Central, this, this is huge, ladies and gentlemen, follow yes. Brad's wife, unbeknownst to you guys, Brad's wife, this, I'm, ladies and gentlemen, this is fictitious, I'm making this up. Brad's wife owns a totally smoking hot, single location, women's hair salon. And in case you fellas don't know this, the real name of a women's hair or nail salon is Command Central. And why do you say it, Mark? Because when you go in there, the ladies tell each other who's uh, just got promoted, who's getting divorced, who just got married, who just bought a new house, who just lost her house, whose kid just graduated college, dental school, law school, whose kid just uh, had their first kid, who bought a new house, on and on and on. It's Command Central. So here's how you and I are going to take advantage of that. I go to Brad, now I'm a, we're gonna switch it now. I'm a retail jeweler now. You retail jewelers. I'm telling you, this is one of the most powerful strategies you can utilize. And this applies, think of a nail salon and a hair salon. You're rocking the same strategy with both. Follow this. I go to Brad and I said, Brad, when you go home tonight, you wanna get out of the doghouse with the missus? And he's like, oh, of course. I said, here's what you do. Take her these two pictures, images of these beautiful $2,500 diamond studded necklaces. Ask her, given the choice, if she could get either at cost, which is $1,200, uh, $200 down, $100 a month, for the next 10 months, no interest, which one would she like? So Brad takes it home, shows wife. she says, number B, fabulous. I say, Brad, you tell your wife, as long as she drags a friend into the store in the next 10 days, I'll give her that necklace at my cost, $1,200, $200 down, $1,000, I mean, uh, $100 a month, until she pays off the balance of $1,000, provided she joins my opt-in email or SMS, you know, text message list. So she's all with it. She drags her bestie, they come in. Now, what do you think the bestie is thinking when she's standing there? You think this might be a time for me to offer the bestie what we call an OTL, what is that mark? A one-time only offer? I say, listen, you join my list, I can hook you up as well as I can, you know, the person who brought you in, but here's what I can do. I give you a $1,500 diamond studded necklace at my cost, $700. $200 down, uh, the next five payments of $100 as long as you join my list. There's a very good chance she's gonna join my list. But even if she, I mean, take advantage of that offer, but let's say she doesn't. Brad's wife, remember, Brad's wife is the owner of this hair salon. She shows back up tomorrow. What do you think the first thing all the other five female stylists wanna know? Where she got that blame. 
at which point she's going to pull out five of my uh, uh, market tested index cards. Now, when I say market tested, they're direct response, meaning not a business card you're thinking of. Like I'm saying, it's going to say, enter my free drawing. And on the back, you know, the you come alone, 10% off, up to $500. Uh, drag a friend who's at least 18. They, you can purchase up to, say, 40% up to your first purchase, your next purchase, pardon me, of uh, $2,000. She, she's going to give away five of those because, you know, all the ladies want to take advantage of this. And this is what I tell them. You come to my store in the next 10 days, and I'll throw in a $450 pair of diamond-studded earrings at my cost, $200. That's only if you drag a friend. Now what's happened? I've turned Brad's wife and her five current and future, because remember, some of these ladies are going to move on to another salon, and they're going to have my bling to show off to their new clientele. But the point is, these women have now become walking, talking billboards for yours truly. Because they don't live in that hair salon. They, at the end of the day, they go home. And when they're out there talking to their neighbor or they attend a barbecue or they get drugged to some social event, the ladies there are going to want to know, excuse me, where'd you get those beautiful diamond studded earrings? Now, here's where it gets interesting, Fred. I tell your wife, I say, you know what? Every time you send me X amount of cus paid customers for the month, I'm just going to use 20. That's like five a week. And what, what she has to figure out is what is her ratio? In other words, to get five sales in a week, how many of my uh, discounted coupon uh, gift certificate business cards does she have to give away per week? to average five sales. So let's say it's 50, meaning 10%. I don't know what the ratio will be, we'll figure that out. But here's the point, I tell her, every time you send me 20 customers in a month, whatever your current lease payment is, I'll pay it for the month. And she's like, what? Why would I do that? Well, first of all, you brought me 20 customers. Everybody knows at least 25 people, Brett. So 25 times five and 30% of that figure is going to become my or my competitor's customers. I'm banking the way I'm going to treat your wife and her clientele and the stylists. They're going to come to me. But that remains to be seen. Now, the stylists, they all do 10 women a day. I guarantee you at least 50 to 75% of those women are going to want to know why they got those earrings and that beautiful necklace. In which case, they're going to hand them my extremely time-sensitive gift certificate. And here's the other thing I'm going to do for your wife, Brett. I'm going to go out and, and, and bring in the real lady killer. No, it's not Brad Pitt or Denzel. I'm going to go out and purchase a seven-foot teddy bear and say, just leave that in the corner right there. Now, when her customers come in, they're going to say, oh, my God, did Brad get that? And she's going to say, no, he should have, but he didn't. Where'd you get that? You know that jeweler that's two, two blocks over? Oh, Mark's jeweler. He bought that. What? Why would he do that for exactly what's happening right now? I'm like, oh, man. Now, in the wintertime, when it gets super cold, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go out and find the best, and I'm talking the best, high-end gourmet coffee. And I'm going to go out and buy a 20-pound bag. And this is so she can serve her customers and the staff gourmet coffee that I'm getting at cost, of course, because I'm going to tell the distributor, listen, when they get exposed to this coffee, you think some of them, A, won't want to buy it for themselves, B, buy it as a gift, C, take it to work. Of course they will. Well, you giving it to me at cost gives you additional free exposure. So they're like, okay, that makes sense, Mark. So I buy this 20 pound bag. Actually, I'm gonna buy two. I buy one that Brad's wife can take home, but the other one she's to leave in the shop so she can serve both the staff and her clientele gourmet coffee, which again, the conversation's gonna turn to, girl, this is some of the best coffee I've, I've tasted. Where did you get it? She's gonna say, oh, I didn't get it. Dude. The jeweler, the guy, you see his necklace? Yeah, him. And they're like, what? You gotta be kidding me. 
Now, here's the other thing I do, Greg, I, at her, on her birthday, your wife's birthday. I call up the bakery. I tell them I need this slamming cake. I don't put, you know, the number of years. We don't have to go there. But it's her birthday. Happy birthday. And I do this twice a year. You say, well, she only has one birthday, Mark. Yeah, but her business has a birthday, too. So we do one for the annual birthday of when she opened the shop. We do one for her birthday of her personal birthday. I send over some gourmet uh, chocolates and that cake. And I do the same thing for each stylist. And here's what I tell the stylist. Whoever leaves the pack from week to week, I will pay your chair rental booth for the week. What? That's right. I want you flapping the FYL system, Brad. I want you flapping your lips to your besties, your neighbors, your siblings, when you're at a social event, telling them about this fabulous jeweler that does all this. So they say, oh my God, you mean that time when I came in here in the summer and you guys were rocking all of that barbecue? He bought that? Yeah, that's what he does. The summer months, uh, uh, June, July, and September, that's what he does. He buys this. And once a year, when I shut down, uh, near Christmas time, he gives us $50 chips to go to the casino and have a blast. And I take all my stylists with me. Now, again, ladies and gentlemen, I was rocking a $25,000 a month wasteful billboard ad that people were uh, driving by at 60 miles an hour and barely noticed. And I did that for two years. Do the math. 25,000 times 24. So I now and being way more proactive and effective. And don't forget, I'm doing this with the nail salon too. And I let Brad's wife know and the nail salon owner know each month, whichever shop, you know, including the stylist and everything, brings in the boat and the most paying customers, I give the owner an extra $2,000 cashier's check bonus. Do you follow what I'm saying here, ladies and gentlemen? Now, I'm going to, Brad, if, if we haven't taken this to the highest level yet, this next strategy will, I guarantee. Now, you won't find one in 10,000, probably one in 20,000 hair salon, nail salon owners who would do this, but the 1% will do this. And here's the way this works. Brad's wife is smart enough to realize, hey, what if I print up a bunch of these cards or I go to Mark? and tell him what I have in mind. Let him print them up for me. So she gets like 5,000 of these cards. And she goes to her nieces and nephews and cousins and friends and says, listen, I need you to help me out. All you got to do is pass these cards out. You see on the back here where it says referred by, underneath my name, you put your name. And what I would do is every time Mark gets a customer off these cards, I'm going to ask him whose name is underneath mine. And whose ever name is underneath mine, I get $50 a lead from Mark. I would give you $25 in credit for hair care. So in other words, she's splitting it off. So what does she care if she has to give away $100 worth of hair care to somebody who helped her generate an extra $25 in that case per lead? And on her own, she's generating $50. And I tell her, oh, by the way, as soon as you reach 75 leads, I'm going to bump you to $75 a lead. And it's the same for her stylist. So think about this now. They send in 10 leads in a month. They just put $750. After they reach you know, 75, they just put $750 cash in their pocket. Do you really think they're going to have a problem sharing this with their social circle? I don't think so. I'm banking. They're gonna, they're gonna uh, uh, share this story. Now the point is, rather than doing all this wasteful traditional advertising, which makes which approach makes more sense to you, ladies and gentlemen? I hope you will conclude this process is far more effective and long term. Because remember, at 
every Thanksgiving, New Year's, Christmas dinner, or when they go somewhere uh, for dinner, these ladies are going to have a story to tell, and they're going to gladly tell it. They're going to do some, take some selfies, show their bling. They're going to be on Instagram. They're going to be on Facebook. And all that exposure is going to lead back to me or my major competitors. Now, that's how you, oh, and by the way, go back to Brad's restaurant. When he closes, I don't mean close for good. I mean, you know, for the day to close. He tells his his uh, waitresses and waiters to stick around. This guy coming in, uh, one of my, we call him cross-promotional partners. He, he's got a little presentation he wants to give. So I, I show up and I say, here's the deal, ladies. And I pull out one of these diamond-studded necklaces and earrings. Of course, the ladies' eyes light up like saucers. They want to know what's going on. I say, listen, I will give you this bling at my cost, provided when you come to pick it up, you drag a friend with you and you join my email list. I'm like, okay, you know, what, what else you guys? I said, nothing. I want you walking around in the restaurant and when you're on the street showcasing my bling because your girlfriends are going to want to hear your sister, your mom, your aunt, your neighbors, your future, past, and current co workers. They're all going to want to hear me. They're going to want to know where you got it, how you got it. And here's what I'll do you know, same arrangement where basically they're going to be passing out my gift certificate coupons, and the gentleman, I'm going to give you a $2,500 Rolex at my cost. But you got it when you pick it up, you got to drag a friend and join my email list. But ladies, for you, you know, his waitresses, current and future, and past, if he's still in contact with them, here's what I'm going to do for you. As soon as you send me 15 paying customers, I'm going to do two things for you. I'm going to give you a $500 gift certificate to the ladies uh, clothing store, appliance store of your choice in the local area. And I'm going to let you pick out one of their best selling perfumes. A 64 ounce bottle, I'll buy it. Because I got this arrangement with that store where I can get this stuff at cost. So I want you smelling good, looking good, so that when you're out and about, women can't help but want to know what the deal is and you'll gladly tell them. And that's gonna lead back to me. Brad, in my opinion, this is what we call power marketing and promoting. Well, Mark, you go, you're giving us a lot of information here and it's gonna take a while to pull it all together. And, uh, <laughs> I, I wanted you to also, because I think a lot of other podcasters and people like that watch my videos and things, and mm -hmm. they, might, they might want awesome. to be, they'd be interested in what you had to say too, but before- wow. We uh, do that. Okay. How do people get a hold of you to look? Because this is too complicated. I mean, maybe not real complicated, but there's a lot <laughs> there to be able to get a hold of you so you can kind of decipher this and, and hook all these, these webs and networks all together. So how do we get a hold of you, Mark? Ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to stop by my place, I'd love to have you as a guest. You can find me online at you, Y-O-U, canmarketonlinenow.com. That's my house, my hangout. You're more than welcome. And as Brad mentioned, if you have a rocking podcast anywhere near as fabulous as his and you're proactively looking for guests, please look no further. I'd love to be a guest on your show. And if you are a retail appliance dealer or a jeweler and you want to take it to the next level or two, contact me via my blog's contact page, put potential revenue share opportunity in the subject line, put your area code phone number and your, your uh, time zone. And I will get back to you ASAP and we will see what we can work out. Brad, this was awesome, man. Thank and that you website so much. again was what? You, Y-O-U, can market online now.com. Don't forget the now. My brother always does for some odd reason, but you can market online now.com. That's perfect. And I will put that link in here too, because uh, I, I totally see what you're doing here. And it's really smart because uh, that advertising, and we used to call them puffs of air on the radio and stuff. It goes out there, but where does it, with, with, a, with a card like that, 
it's a physical piece that they can prop up on the refrigerator and oh, good it, point. it sticks it in their head. For or the bulletin time. board at work. Absolutely. Yep, yep, Absolutely. Yep. So good Mark, stuff. I'm going to sign this off because we're uh, we've got almost an hour and I don't know if Zoom is going to let me keep all that. So <laughs> let me pop this off and continue okay, to stop friend. recording. I appreciate you taking the time and sharing this uh, wealth of knowledge. <laughs> It's my pleasure. We'll get this my out pleasure. to the people. So appreciate Thank it, Mark. I'll get this off to you real quick. All right, my friend. Thanks Thank so much. Sir. Peace.